Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and yes it's Merchant Day again and uh, this time it's week 76 and everyone here is waiting as always but before we're gonna go to the community we're actually gonna go and test a code. So if you press the button down here if you haven't done that before we're gonna try out Thanksgiving. Let's see what happens. And yes, we got 200 gems from that, so <laughs> go test it out. I do think it's just for one day, so you better hurry up. And that's also why I'm gonna release this video the same day as this has been recorded. Since I've been waiting a little bit on my previous videos to release them, but this time I need to release it today, just to make sure that this code is working. But now we are gonna go directly to the community. Yes, and here we have it. The Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson week 76. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oof. Uh, and we have a... Wow, nope. What is this? Hmm, okay. Uh, I don't think it's, it sounds too promising. So let's go check it out. Okay, so oh, what do we have? We have the Spork, the spear with a damage of 250. We have the Blooming Rod with Reeling Speed 5%, Rarity Chance 35%, Strength 5% and Hook Speed 5%. And then we have the Backpack, the Backpack Less Horseman's Backpack with a Backpack Space of 310. The one that you cannot see. Alright. And here is the Spork. It comes in at a price of 50 charge and it does a spear damage of 250. It looks like this, I'm gonna go into the free camera. Clearly it's pretty dark here, so it's really hard to actually see the spear itself with the, the details. But it's basically a spoon and a fork combined into a spork. And you throw it as a spear. And we're gonna throw it in the air to see what it looks like. So this is daylight and uh, clearly no visible trail. And nothing that really glows either, so it's pretty hard to actually see where it lands. And we're gonna throw it into the tree as well. Really no effects or any special sounds, as you can see. And we're gonna of course test it over in the dark to see if something will emit any light at all. And as you can see, nothing that emits any light and there is no neon textures. So yes, there you have it, that's the spork. And here is the Backpackless Horseman's Backpack. Well, it's a backpack that you can't see, so I got... <laughs> <laughs> I got really nothing to show, but uh, basically what this does is that uh, it removes any backpack that you have on your back, obviously. It comes in at a price of 310 charge and it has a backpack space of 310. Uh, but this specialty, I'm not really gonna go into the free camera, there's no point in doing that. But the purpose of this is to basically, if you have maybe like a cool avatar item that you want to show on your back without having a regular backpack to interfere with the graphics, that's basically what you can do with this one because uh, it will make everything fully visible on your regular avatar. You can just go and do a little bit of a check how that will actually look and work. So if I'm gonna reset my character now, I will get my shark plushie on the back. So if I want to have my avatar in the game looking like this, and uh, yeah, then this uh, backpackless horseman's backpack is the way to go. Because if I would equip something else, if I go into the store, 
and just put on any kind of backpack. So if I would like to have, let's say, I want to have this briefcase, for instance, on my back, it would look like this. And as you can see, now I get it combined and it will interfere with my regular avatar. And of course, the bigger <laughs> the backpack you have, if I have like, think this Christmas present is even bigger. As you can see, it starts to block my avatar item pretty badly here on the back. So what you do is that uh, you equip this backpackless horseman's backpack and you will have a fully visible avatar item on the back instead. So there you have it, that's the backpackless horseman's backpack. All right. And this is the Blooming Rod with a price of 65 charge. It has hook speed 5%, reeling speed 5%, strength 5% and rarity chance 35%. We're gonna go and take a closer look at it in free camera. Looks like this. Very well made model. Lots of small details on it. Lovely. We're gonna run over in the dark and see if anything glows or emit any colors. So we're gonna throw the bobber first. And that bobber we cannot see. So nothing that emits any light or neon textures. We're gonna go in here and look on the actual rod so as you can see it has special effects and it does have neon textures but nothing that emits any light so it's very dark here you cannot see me basically <laughs> and uh, this is what the bobber looks like in the water so really no big surprise it's pretty much as uh, you would expect so yes there you have it that's the blooming rod and jumping into the conclusions for wandering merchant weeks um, <laughs> week 76 uh, first of all the spork it's just way too expensive 50 charge and you get damage 250 there's no real purpose to actually buy this one unless you are in for a collection uh, so that's not an option looking at the backpack that you can't see <laughs> backpack space 310 together with a price of 310 310 backpack space isn't extremely good i mean it's decent but there are better alternatives the unique feature with this backpack is after all that, that you can use any ugc item as you want and it will not interfere by any backpack here in the game so that's a good feature but uh, it's expensive so that's why i'm gonna go with a blooming rod price 65 charge sure there are probably better alternatives but for this week i think this is the best choice and after all it does have rarity chance 35 percent the only thing that i think is a little bit of a downside is that uh, five percent strength that's the only thing actually so yes there you have it those were the items from the wandering merchant week 76 all right so let's go back again well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.